guys. Quick little update. Uh, I've just been kind of plugging along, doing some work. Um, floor has been taken care of. Uh, I added some angle iron to stiffen up the uh, side of the tunnel. Um, I haven't covered the tunnel yet, but I'm going to probably make that a removable panel, just like the rest of the floor panels are going to be removable panels. Um, I did have an issue with where the steering column went through. Uh, basically, I had hacked that up a few too many times, trying to get it, um, trying to find the right spot for the steering column to go. So it started up here and then kind of moved down there. And so I had this whole mess. Um, I did make a patch panel off camera. This little guy, it's kind of rough, but it does do the job. Uh, basically, I loosely cut a circle with a plasma cutter and then smoothed it out. Then kind of just kept holding it up until, you know, I found something that I liked. Um, Mark this out. I used the bead roller and the step bits to make this step to match that X. So that's going to go in. I also kept my bolts locations. Those are the bolts I welded in to mount the steering column. So now basically I just got to take this, clamp it into place, and burn it in. All right, there it is all welded in. Uh, excuse my slightly bloopy. Most of these welds are actually pretty okay for welding onto sheet metal. Um, I did have to basically bridge the Grand Canyon right there, so there's a lot of filler in there. But uh, it should uh, do a lot as far as uh, keeping the uh, fumes and stuff out. Um, something to also bear in mind the uh, clutch slaves or clutch master cylinder sticks out here, steering column sticks out here. Headers go like right there, so I'm going to smooth it down with the grinder, but um, you're not really going to see a whole lot of this once it's all together. I mean, you will, and those who know will judge, but I kind of don't care because it's my truck, not yours. So, uh, yeah, let me uh, get to grinding. guys it is a new day uh, things are um, a little bit more dry from before um, I'm gonna be starting on the other side and it's a uh, it's a nice rainy day in the shop uh, I was hailing before uh, but with all this rain Colorado's starting to feel like New Jersey um, but back on that because uh, yeah it's a good day to keep plugging away so I had started plugging a couple of these with the uh, welding spoon that I made, um, but a lot of them are just a little bit too big, so that guy and all of those. Um, I could spend a long time trying to make some patch panels, but uh, Speedway Motors sells some bits. Uh, Eastwood does as well, but uh, I ended up going with the Speedway Motors kit because 
I didn't want to spend 40 bucks for this plus a cheap set fit. So I got this. So uh, what these are, are some steel panels, these little holes. Uh, and they also have little, uh, basically little fingers to the ends, little points. So that'll help them sit in the hole a little bit better while you weld them in. So first step is going to uh, attack this guy with grinder, clean up around all of these holes, and then um, basically get to plug in the ones that fit and uh, on the ones that don't, we're drilling out to the next size that does. So uh, let's get at it. So this guy is about the right size to fill this hole. It's a little on the small side, but MIG welder will fill gaps. So I'm going to take my welding magnet, stick it on the back side, and then just use that to hold that in place, nice, nice and perfect like so. And got to buzz it in. So let's see. patch done. Uh, don't go so hard like that and burn through. That's kind of a bad, uh, bad play. But uh, yeah, let me get the rest of these filled and then uh, we'll grind them flat. All right, so there we go. Got all the holes welded up um, except for those two right there. Um, those are threaded so they might be useful. Uh, but yeah, um, just welded a bunch of plugs in and then uh, also used the uh, welding spoon a lot. And uh, I am surprised. Uh, I haven't really used one of these things before, but I was not expecting it to look like that after just doing one firewall. So I wasn't kidding when I said the copper was consumable. I just thought it would be take a little bit longer to consume. But uh, gonna pound it flat and uh, clean some of that off. But it's gonna—it's about time to replace that chunk already. But uh, let's get to grinding, and then we can paint. All right, that is fireball all ground down. Uh, now I just need to splash some paint on it again. <laughs> 